Hey everyone, how you doing today? It's me, David. I'm here in my whiskey den and I'm going to be trying out this ancient, ancient age 10 star from the Buffalo Trace Distillery, which is of course owned by Sazerac. And a friend of mine brought this over yesterday. I traded him for a bottle of 86 proof, very old Barton that I had on hand. And I've been wanting to try this did have a little taste of it yesterday, but um, wanted to try it for you here because I don't really, didn't really have, I don't know. We had some sampling yesterday, so this kind of got lost in the mix. Um, mash bill is undisclosed, but it's the Buffalo Trace number two mash bill, which I believe is a higher rye content than their number one mash bill. This one liter bottle retails here in Ohio for about 15 bucks. Um, I don't see it in the 750 milliliter. Well, I don't really see it, but it's available here in Ohio only in a one liter and 1.75 liter. And oh, wow, it smells good. Um, it used to be aged for 10 years, but I can't find an age statement. Some speculate it's got a three year age statement now. I thought it was a 10 year, but that 10 on the label says 10 star, not 10 a year. And uh, let's see what we got here, you know. Um, everyone seems to really rave about it. Um, so let's see what we got. Um, light amber color, it doesn't look too spectacular. It is 90 proof, but it smells, I mean, it smells really nice. And it's a bottom shelfer. So let's see what we got. <laughs> you know, it's okay. Um, it's okay. It's a good bottom shelf bourbon. It's not... I guess my expectation was kind of up there. <clears throat> People like it. It's an excellent value bourbon. Um, I do personally prefer a very old Barton over this. Um, again, another Sazerac product. But, I mean, it's not... This isn't like, um, like lighter fluid or anything. It's better than Jim Beam. Um, it has more character than your typical bottom shelf, which is, I think, why people look for this. Um, but if I want to get something out of the Buffalo Trace Distillery, which is a bottom shelf, where I'd probably go for the McAfee's Benchmark. It's actually a nice companion to the McAfee's, which uses the Buffalo Trace number one mash bill, which is a lower rye content. But, you know, this isn't bad. It's a bit spicy. It's nice. Um, it's not ultra smooth, but it's not harsh either on my palate. It's just that burn <laughs> at the end really, uh, really gets you. Um, but, you know, and I used to drink regular Ancient Age, the 80 proof, some years ago. And, but I don't remember what that was like. I'm sure this is a lot more mellow than ancient age. But uh, if you do see ancient, ancient age in your neck of the woods, again, around the $15 mark, it is a good value bottom shelfer, which um, I think I'm going to put this up against a few other 90 proofers in some head-to-head -head battles. So uh, there you go. I'm going to call this a first taste review even though I did try it yesterday. But like I said, trying this on its own. So short and sweet, there you go. It's me, David, here in my whiskey den. Hope your next pour is your best pour, and we'll catch you soon with another review. Thanks so much for watching. Hey, everyone, if you like what you see, please like and subscribe so you can be notified of future videos as they drop. Thanks for watching.